casual dresser, if you've just seen my last video on the Shadow Project jacket, I probably directed you over to this video, which is all about PayPal. Um, I'm just going to waffle for a bit about PayPal. People are using it and people are getting stung using it. Uh, and PayPal really have got no idea what they are doing at the moment. Um, I spoke to a lady from customer services on the phone for PayPal and she openly said that really they're in a bit of a, a sticky situation at the moment and they really don't know what to do to get out of it. So PayPal, a platform for sending and receiving money securely. Uh, why do I think it's on its way out? Well, a few years ago I mentioned this and on the forums people used to laugh. People still laugh now when I say PayPal is not a safe method uh, to buy and sell jackets. People live by it, they swear by it, they say it's the only way that they would buy and sell jackets. Let me tell you why I'm a little bit worried about PayPal. So, if you're the buyer using PayPal, then it is a really safe and secure way of buying things. So, for those who don't know much about PayPal, when you go through the options, and I'm going to try and show you a few screenshots here if possible without giving any of my information away. But if you go to buy something, so I purchase a jacket, and the buyer says, uh, the seller says, okay, I've got a PayPal, here's my email address. Um, so you log into your PayPal and you put their email address in and you put how much you would like to pay for. Now, you will find that sellers say add 4% on top of the, uh, the total sale value because what PayPal will do, and rightly so for their time and for their platform, they'll take three point roughly about 3.8%, I think, off you. So you add 4% on. Um, so you would go through the procedure, and then we say pay for goods. Fantastic. So we click on pay for goods, and you type a little brief message of what you would like to buy in a brief description. And then you make the payment, and the seller receives the money. Now, the first important thing is when you're buying with PayPal, is to try and get the money cleared into your PayPal account before sending them out. So what would effectively happen is you go to your bank, you say, I want to move money from a bank to my PayPal. So I've bought a jacket for £250. I take the money from a bank, I switch it into my PayPal account, 250 there, and I pay using it. That means there'll be no delays at the other side. Um, the seller then receives the money, and sometimes it says pending. And we go back and forth and back and forth, and they say, well, I can't send the jacket until the money's cleared. No. Pending will normally mean, if you can see the money sitting there, but it says pending, it normally means that you've not been using your account very much and PayPal will expect you to send the item to the person um, before monies are cleared. That's what normally happens. Now, this is not gospel, so what I'd like you to do, if, if that ever does happen, please feel free to phone PayPal because actually as a service, if you ring them, they are very good. There's a telephone number when you press for the help centre. It's pretty quick. One of the quickest ways of getting through to them is just to sit there saying, advisor, 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 and then bang, straight through to an advisor. So I bought a jacket, and then eventually they send it out. Now, they have to send it out to the buyer's address that's on the account. So please, 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 please make sure your details are correct. So we've sorted out the address. We've sent the money and they've sent me the jacket. And let's say we've received something that is faulty, something that you don't want, something that was not as described. Um, it doesn't really matter with PayPal because whatever you buy, there's always a way in which you can send it back. So when you return an item, what will happen is, is that PayPal go through the right process. It's quite easy. It's, it's literally click, next, click, next. You send the jacket back. And once the tracking shows that the jacket has been received back at the other side, then the monies are sent back to you, to your PayPal balance, and you can put them in your bank. Fantastic. So when we're buying with PayPal, we are absolutely, completely covered every single time. And I've got no issue with paying with PayPal. The only problem is you've then got to hope that the person on the other side accepts PayPal. And that's where it becomes very, very cloudy. Because when I sell items, I won't sell through PayPal. I'll only sell through my bank. And I, the reason why I say that is because I feel I've got a good enough name in the community that people can trust money to go to a bank. Now, it's a real chicken and egg situation because if you're buying something for the first time and you don't know the person, there is no way you are going to transfer via bank. 
I would hope that maybe I'm a different situation because you've probably found me to come and buy something from me. But otherwise, there's no way you're going to send money to a bank. If you send money to a bank um, and they take your money and don't send you any goods, um, there's no way you're getting that money back. But through PayPal, if you buy um, using friends and family and they don't send you the item back, it, you people used to say, well, friends and family, that means the money's gone, there's no chance you're going to get it. So pay, paying by friends and family means no fees. So if I was to buy a £1,000 jacket and I didn't want to spend £40 extra to cover the fees, I would say, right, PayPal friends and family, that saves me £40. That's good for the buyer. But then the seller might decide, well, I'm not going to send it now. I've got a £1,000 of yours, and I'm not going to send the jacket. What people are starting to do on PayPal is get in contact with the bank, do a um, charge back through the bank, and the, the bank then retrieve the money back from PayPal, and you've got your money back, and they cut the jacket. So no one's worse off. The problem then happens if someone buys from me, PayPal, friends and family, I send them the jacket and then they do a chargeback. There's nothing I can do because they've got the jacket. I can try and um, contest it as much as possible, but chargebacks are almost impossible to contest because they're saying that someone, did, someone used their PayPal account that wasn't them. So all in all, they're up a jacket and I'm down a jacket. So it's not a very safe way of selling things, but it's certainly a safe way of buying things. Um, and that's what I want you to bear in mind if you're buying and, and selling, okay? Um, so one other thing I want to speak about is a freeway scam on PayPal. And this is going to be quite complicated, so I'm going to try and make it as simple as possible. So um, I have someone who wants to buy my jacket, um, and they say, okay, I'll buy it. I'll buy it for the full price. And all of a sudden, the money comes into my account. And I'm thinking, happy days. Someone's bought my jacket. I'll ship it off to them. Here's the most important bit. If anybody ever asks you to send something to a different address than that's on their PayPal, remember I said before that you have to put the right address in for your PayPal. If they message and say, actually, I don't want you to send it to Middlesbrough. I want you to send it to my friend in Leeds, for example. Straight away, red flag, no, you don't do that. You have to send to the PayPal address. Anyway, back to the freeway scam. So he's bought the jacket off me and he wants me to send it somewhere else. At the same time, what's happening is, is that that money wasn't ever sent by him. It was sent by somebody who thought they were buying something off the man who gave me the money. So this person will have advertised possibly a pair of trainers that are exactly the same amount of money as my jacket. So lo and behold, this money comes in from a third party. It comes into my PayPal, uh, my PayPal account. I ship my jacket then off somewhere else. If I have been scammed, you won't be scammed if you send it to the right address. But I send it off to this other person's address. And then I sit there. And all of a sudden, I get a message from the person who thought they were buying something from the, the crook saying, where are my trainers? And I said, what trainers? And they said, well, I gave you £250 for a pair of trainers. I said, I don't know anything about a pair of trainers. They then claim back from PayPal saying the item was never sent. Well, of course it wasn't because I didn't have any trainers to send in the first place. And it turns out, actually, that my jacket has gone to another address and they've kept that jacket. They're not out of any money because the person who was buying for them actually gave me the money. So they pull their money back, which I can't do anything about because I haven't sent anything to the, uh, their address. I, um, I end up being down um, a jacket and then they get their money back. And it's called a freeway scam. So what I'm effectively trying to say amongst all that jumbling uh, is that you've got to send to the PayPal address. And loads of people... I go in wrong on this point, and I see it all the time. I've lost so and so. I've lost so and so. I've lost so and so. Well, no, you haven't lost. Well, you have lost, um, but the idea is you've got to send to the correct address. I once had it in the, when I was starting out. It must have been about ten years ago, and a parcel got sent down to Essex. It had three reflectives in it, and I fell for it. And 
it happens. You, you, know, you can't beat yourself up about it. It happens and you've got to wipe it out of your mind and say, right, I'm never going to fall for that again. But hopefully this video has, has sort of told you never ever send to a different address on PayPal. And that is really, really important. Um, so really, to summarise, buying with PayPal, super safe. You can't go wrong. Selling with PayPal has got so many pitfalls. I don't actually understand how anyone sells with PayPal anymore. Um, but it's a chicken and egg. If no one sells through PayPal, no one can buy through PayPal. So there's got to be some trust there. Um, I would say screenshot any conversations you're having with these people. Um, make sure you get their details, where they live. Make sure it's correct um, with the actual profile you're talking to. But yeah, be careful with PayPal. There's nothing PayPal can do. When I, speak to the, when I spoke to the lady, her hands were tied. She just has to follow a protocol and then it's up to you as a customer to try and get it back somehow. The police are not going to be interested. They're really not interested in stuff like that. Um, I mean, they're not interested if someone breaks into your house and steals all your stuff, to be honest. So they're not going to be interested in a PayPal scam. So yeah, look after yourselves out there. Please do email if you've got any concerns or ask people near you and say, look, does this sound... If it sounds too good to be true, chances are it is. If someone asks for a change of address, that's going to, probably going to be a scam as well. Um, and one, one more thing, actually. If you pay, if someone pays you goods and services, they expect an item to be delivered, never let anybody pay goods and services and come and pick the item up in person. So someone buys a jacket for me, £200, goods and services, fantastic. Oh, can I come and pick it up? Of course you can. They come and pick it up, take the jacket away. All of a sudden, there's a refund request saying, I never had the item. And I'm saying, well, I gave them it in person. Can you prove it with a receipt, a tracking receipt? No. Nope. Well, it's no good. They're taking the money back. So never, ever sell physical items face-to-face -face using PayPal goods and services because the chances are that money eventually is going to be taken out of your account and you've lost your item. So yeah, I've rambled a bit, but there's probably some important points in there. That was me talking about PayPal. Um, enjoy your weekend. Like I said in the last video, I'm about to watch Sheffield United versus Hull with a little bit of a curry. Um, and yeah, take care. See you later. Adios.